guys welcome back to world of tanks my name is Bruce and today I want to start with a new video series I want to feature tanks which are difficult to play and give you tips and tricks to help you master those tanks if you're interested in more reviews and gameplay go to YouTube and search for world of tanks with Bruce to get all of my videos or click on the subscribe button and now let's go so today we want to take a look at the VK-2801-105, the tier 6 German light reward tank. How can you get this tank? You have to play this game for I believe 5 years, thereafter you receive it for free. Now this tank is basically a copy of the tier 6 German light tank, the tech tree tank however has the regular gun and this tank features a 105 millimeter howitzer with 350 alpha damage and in order to understand this tank let's take a look at the statistic so here you can see the vk 2801 and some of its counterparts on tier 6 first of all the german tech tree variant then the french light tank the amx 12t the chinese type 64 the American ones, the T-37 and the T-21, as well as the Russian light tank and also the Chinese regular tech tree light tank. So the first thing that you should notice is, yes, the DPM on paper is better. However, this is only if you fully penetrate uh, your shot and if you actually also hit your shots. So in general, I would say the, the effective DPM is actually much lower compared to all the other tanks plus the penetration value is lower and so all the other tanks have a better firepower except for some situations that I will present to you in a few seconds. Keep in mind the shell velocity is also super lackluster and also the gun handling stats are also lackluster. This is just the balancing factor for such a such a high alpha derp gun. So it is pretty hard to hit your shots once again except for a few situations which I will come to in a bit. Mobility wise this tank is actually not too bad with a uh, mediocre top speed for light tanks not the best ones but actually not too bad as well. The weight is uh, pretty nice 26 tons means that you can actually ram most of the opponent light tanks especially tanks like the like the AMX 12T with only 12 tons. The power to weight ratio is um, actually pretty okay on the, on the good side 26 uh, approximately compared to let's say about 25 to 28 on the other tanks so this tank can compete with the other light tanks when it comes to mobility once again a thing which is very important and um, we will see later how you can use this mobility armor wise this tank is actually much better than most of the other light tanks so 50 millimeters of armor on the front hull and also on the front turret means that you will not be you will not be penetrated easily by opponents uh, using HE and this is a significant advantage and so uh, much better than for example on the AMX 12T. Now take a look at the at the camo value of this tank. So this tank has an okay camo, certainly not the best ones. Most of the other tanks are better with the exception of the T37. However, there's a significant disadvantage, for example, compared to the AMX 12T and then also tanks like the MT25, for example. View range wise, uh, 380 meters of view range is actually pretty decent. The only tank which is better is the Type 64. So all in all, it's not the best spotter. It has a good mobility. It has a very high alpha damage with poor gun handling stats. So how do you want to play or should you play this tank? So the first real advantage of this tank is that you can win the strategic light tank position on a map against other light tanks because you have the alpha advantage against those other light tanks. Now the armor of the enemy light tanks is relatively lackluster so you can even use um, your HE ammunition which even has uh, 410 alpha compared to 360 and so this is what I want to do I want to brawl against the light tanks in this situation now even if I um, or another option is that you can even further increase your let's say your your practical alpha damage if you not only 
penetrate your shot, but then if you also would ram those um, those lightings. So in this situation, let's take a shot and bam, I take a shot for 389. And so he has lost, let's say, two thirds of its HP right at the get go. And this gives us the chance of winning this position maybe we can take another shot now looks like the other light tanks are not even okay nice and now he's taken out so 640 alpha damage at the beginning of the game and now we have won the strategic lighting position on this map but even if you do not want to play as aggressively and basically brawl um, for the strategic lighting position, this high alpha damage gives you an insane advantage of significantly reducing the HP of the adversary lightings and in order to basically um, give your team the chance to win this position later on in the game. So we are fully aimed in, this is super important. And now we're waiting for the enemy light tanks. And here you go, 383 damage at the beginning of the game. And so if our team now also pushes the hill, then obviously we will be able to take out this light tank because he has significantly reduced the majority of its HP right at the beginning of the game. Now, if you fully aim in your shot and if you use enough lead, you can even hit moving targets. So let's fully aim in, let's use enough lead and here you go. Obviously, it takes quite a bit of luck because I want to repeat this once again. But as you can see, it is pretty hard to hit moving targets with a derp gun. All in all, what you want to do with the VK28-01-105 is you want to surprise your enemies and you want them to make mistakes and basically to drive into your high alpha gun. Completely unexpected and you want to catch them by surprise. So you want to wait, be fully aimed in, in cover, then take your shot and then have the option to fall back into cover so that they cannot use their um, superior DPM in order to take you out and in order to get one shot in return and this is how you can trade extremely nicely and trade positively with your high alpha gun against your adversary tanks. So in order to boost the strength of this tank I play this tank with coated optics in order to achieve 459 meters of view range without using any premium consumable whatsoever. And then I play this tank with improved ventilation as well as with vertical stabilizer in order to increase the gun handling of this tank. And this makes sense in my opinion because this tank is not the one which uh, wants to compete spotting wise against its counterparts on tier 6 and conduct passive spotting. This tank rather is a fast moving damage dealer which wants to cause high amounts of alpha damage to enemy tanks. All right, first game in the VK 2801-105. We're spawning on Sand River in the west and let's first of all take a look and see what options we have. Spawning on Sand River in the west, the game usually develops like this and with the VK 28105 you have several options. You can go to this position and try to spot um, the enemy tanks which are proceeding to the north. In my opinion the best, let's say first gameplay is to go to this bush and actually spot the enemy tanks which are proceeding to the south. And then maybe also get one or another shot onto those crossing tanks, at least if they man if they uh, cross this way instead of the longer but safer way like this. So with this tank, what you want to do is, first of all, you are a light tank, so you want to surprise or you want to spot for your team just in, an, uh, in a regular lighting, but you do not want to compete against, let's say, regular lightings because they have the spotting advantage over your tank. But nonetheless, you can move into a quick position, into a first spot position like this um, on this map in order to spot one or another, let's say, slow, medium or heavy tank like the Pavlak tank in this situation and maybe even get a first shot. Okay, I did not use enough lead and uh, this is why I could not hit this tank. And so give your team, let's say, the first information of what is going on on the map and in the game. 
Now, the second thing that you want to do is you want to fight for a uh, strategic, uh, sorry, for a strategic position, for a strategic light tank position, I should say, against other light tanks, but only if the risk is, let's say, acceptable, and if you can, let's say, um, if you are sure that you will be winning or the, that you have a chance of winning the um, strategic position. Now in this situation I'm not taking a shot, I'm actually taking a shot, no I'm not taking a shot, sorry, I'm not taking a shot simply because it is not worth doing so because um, keep in mind if you take a shot then um, chances are that your position is revealed and those long range shots are always low probability shots simply due to the fact that your gun is super super unprecise so in a derp gun you actually do not want to take every shot that you can get but instead simply wait until let's say the chance of penetration is um, on a higher level now what you want to do um, in such a tank in such a dirt gun tank is you want to surprise your opponents and um, so this kind of means that you have to stay patient and that you want to simply stay alive maybe use your mobility in order to change the flank and move to another flank and then catch one or another tank by surprise so I did not want to stay in the same position because um, sooner or later I will get spotted plus there's nothing I can do in this position. I also do not want to go to the southern flank and brawl frontly against, um, against the Pavlak tank because after all my penetration is completely lackluster. Keep in mind on my premium ammunition I have 104 millimeters of penetration on my standard shell only 64 and on my HE shell on my regular HE shell only 53 so my penetration values are like cluster but what I can do is I can now simply advance and this is basically a standard light tank move has nothing to do with the dirt gun uh, tank itself but I can move closer to the enemy team in order to spot for the BZ-58 and for the VK-30-02D which are situated on the northern portion of the map. Now I want to fall back, wait until I'm not spotted anymore because uh, for sure as you saw I was spotted uh, once advancing and now I want to advance down in this ditch. I spot the, the artillery and now okay I have a little problem here and here you go I can take out the shot now. Notice that I pretended that I want to circle this tank um, counterclockwise, so I moved a little bit to the right and then I moved to the left so that um, the adversary player turns his turret towards the left hand side and this gives me then more time once I actually circle this tank from the other side. Okay, as the Panzer 4 player cannot even spot me, I can easily take him out by fully aiming in my shot. And um, yeah, so with this tank, with um, a leg luster penetration values, what you obviously want to do is you want to lose, use um, a lot of premium ammunition. That's just how the tank is designed. But of course, um, against an artillery, I can use the standard HE and simply delete the artillery. The game is super super close um, but I want to advance and okay here's the enemy tank destroyer the um, SMV CC56 now of course frontly I do not have any chance against him but if I can manage to circle this tank then I can easily take him out because um, his mobility is super like cluster it's a very sluggish tank and as long as I can circle him, I am good to go. Now, I want to wait until the BZ-58 has taken the shot and then um, as the as the Italian autoloaders are designed, I have multiple seconds um, before he can use the next shot of his clip. And so I want to use this time in order to circle this tank. Here you go. Nice, as you can see, he cannot 
come with me and turn his, his uh, gun towards me and so I'm using auto aim to simply um, circle him and that was a bad mistake I should have stopped auto aiming and uh, concentrated on my shot but that's just how it is and now I want to further maybe I can come into the view of this tank and I can take him out excellent okay perfect so 1100 damage so far and looks like this is the best player of all times he is unaware completely unaware that we just brawled against uh, against his teammate basically five meters away from him but <laughs> so far okay anyway i can take another shot which is excellent and um yeah looks like this is not the best player of all times excellent which gives me another chance i will now take a shot maybe but you know what um can i penetrate the side maybe where is it here go nice and i can take out the next tank and so we are lucky and we make 2200 damage with the derp gun it's super super rewarding if you make a penetrating shot on tier 6 with uh, such a derp gun and if you have uh, opponents which are able to denote to sorry to donate um their hp to you that is always a nice thing okay so now we want to simply make pressure with um capping and i'm telling the team to help me out because um, after all the light tank will for sure have the spotting advantage if he manages to um, to use the bushes on the map and so I'm pinging for help and I'm telling the Skoda T25 please drive towards my position because if you spot the remaining T52 then that is not a problem at all because then I can relocate or maybe simply cap um, and if you do not spot him then please help me um, so that we can cap and win before he can take a shot towards my tank so let's see how it goes we are simply waiting in this position and maybe we can win by capping only 30 seconds to go looks like the Skoda T25 is actually not so much supporting me and now I receive a shot from the T52 yeah and um, as I already showed you if you fully aim in your shot then you have actually also the chance of penetrating a, uh, a moving target now this is always um, alongside with a bit of luck obviously but um, it's not that you cannot hit a moving target with a derp gun always try to fully aim in your shot if you're playing a derp gun like in the vk 2801 105 and then you can hit your shot so we make 2600 damage and the skoda t25 is able to finally take him out and so we win the game with six kills sorry five kills and um, 2600 damage all right second game this time we're spawning in a tier 8 matchup on Abbey and let's first of all take a look at the map spawning on Abbey in the north with the VK 2801 105 you have several options you can rush here and try to win the middle and compete against the against the adversary light tanks you can play more defensively like this or you can go to this flank and try to let's say go here or maybe somewhere here in order to spot those tanks in the back in my opinion it makes sense to set up a trap for the enemy tanks okay so do i want to brawl frontly against uh, the opponent heavy tanks on the one and two lane with my leg luster penetration obviously not do i want to um, try to outspot the t52 and the amx 12t on the nine and zero lane well obviously not because my view range and my spotting ability is like luster but what i can do is i can surprise the enemy light tanks which are approaching the hill and get maybe a shot onto those tanks in this position well not so much actually because our team has already managed to win this position um but you know what maybe i can take a shot onto the nvk now i'm loading premium he in order to increase the chance of penetrating my shot and nice i can take out this tank unfortunately only 174 damage now i need to fall back and maybe we can take another shot onto the lansen c maybe let's see 
okay he okay he's falling back let's see where he goes oh he's now once again approaching and you know what so am i spotted or not oh i bounced this shot very unfortunate now he is okay he's pushing me well i have support from the nas one nice the tank destroyer now base so it should not be a problem for me and so you know what i want to stay in this position now yep that is exactly what i meant and okay it looks like uh, you know what i will simply move out and trade against him okay first of all let's take a shot onto the thunderbolt okay unfortunately his armor is too thick at least on the majority on the side of his turret but you know what looks like the lands and sea is not paying attention whatsoever so maybe i can take him out or at least get a shot nice and 378 damage he's taken out excellent so this is the power of a derp gun in a light tank so here you go we even get assisting damage because we are the one who is spotting the you go maybe a shot onto the e25 please move forward no he doesn't ah here you go here you go and bam we can take out the um enemy tank destroyer maybe another shot please stay in this position okay no unfortunately it doesn't but maybe if please fall back maybe we get another chance um unfortunately and that is no surprise the adversary team has won the heavy lane because we only had one or two heavy tanks in the game ah, here you go and obviously the bz176 is simply overpowered and so there's nothing go and bam another 372 damage this is so rewarding it's so much fun to play this tank if you ask me unfortunately the reload is unsufficient and you know what i think i should now try to help out the is6 against the bz176 so the only chance that we can win this flank and win against the bz176 is that we help the is6b player he is completely inferior towards the the overpowered bz176 but maybe he is smart and maybe he can stay alive until i can flank the bz176 so let's take a look at the remaining tanks the oe has not been spotted yet and that's about it so yeah just let's see how it goes okay there he is so i need to okay we need to continue so not to give the oe the chance of getting a shot onto our tank because after all we are light tank unfortunately the is6b is taken out of the game which is no surprise and you know what actually the game does not look too good so i'm not spotted anymore hopefully the oi is um, proceeding towards the bz176 position and so this might give me the chance of getting at least one more shot into the rear of this tank uh, okay am i spotted now yes i think so yes i'm spotted so okay no way i can approach this tank i cannot brawl frontly against this tank i'm sorry to say team but the bz176 is looking to into our base um and the oi is is uh, looking towards me so uh, unfortunately i cannot i'm sorry unfortunately i cannot fight against those two tanks but maybe i can make pressure in the enemy base and at least help out the is7 and so if we can clear those three tanks the artillery and the the c130 pm so the forest spirit then that might be good okay let's see and fully aim in bam so we can take out the artillery okay so there he is so we want to approach this Hill, so basically to stay in cover and now yeah he is looking towards the other tank nice this gives me a chance of penetrating the rear of the tank and i can use uh, my he of course and i think now it is time to consciously trade my hp maybe he does mistake um but i think let's see maybe he over peaks 
and maybe I can take him out. I think it is now time to consciously trade an HP because we have no okay, nice. He's taken out, so uh, excellent. Okay, so um, what am I supposed to do? I think it is time to help the EBR Hodge against the AMX 12T, and then maybe we still have a chance of winning the game because we might get a chance of surprising the OI and the BZ176. Now this is ex extremely... And they are now even capping, so this is a good thing. So if you are playing in a top tier heavy tank with superior armor, and if you are not, not alone, then obviously it's a, it's a damn good idea to... Okay, he gets a shot, but he is killing himself, which is fine. And now, unfortunately, it is time to hurry up and to approach the enemy base. Only one minute, ten seconds to go. So, unfortunately, I do not have the time to go via the two lane, which I would like to do. And I would like to approach my base or our base from the... B2 position or C2 position, but unfortunately, I do not have enough time. Hopefully, the BZ176 is still on the 9 lane, and so I can maybe... Uh, okay. Okay. I see where this is going. Okay. <laughs> well, excellent play by the BZ176. He actually managed to cut my way off, cut off my way towards uh, our base, which is an extremely good... Play. I think I did everything correctly because time was running out, but that's just how it is. And um, yeah, we had no chance of winning the game, but look at the statistic. We made 2,000 damage and we made 1,100 spotting. So 3,100 damage combined and I think another decent result in the VK2801. All right, last game in the VK2801-105. We are spawning on Chinese border and let's quickly take a look at the map. Spawning on Chinese border in the north with the VK2801-105. You have several options. My preferred one is to go to the middle, so like this, and then either, either spot the light tanks or medium tanks which are approaching the middle like this, maybe even the tanks which are dropping out here, and then also maybe getting one or another shot onto those tanks or spotting the, uh, let's say, the... the slow tanks so for example slow medium or heavy tanks if they are crossing like this onto the northern flank and then maybe also getting one or another shot onto those tanks all right in this situation we are playing in a mid-tier situation so there are enough tanks that we can penetrate even with our regular he ammunition so this is why i'm preloading this uh, this shell type now we want to go into a position from where we can at least spot one or another light tank which is approaching the hill but from the northern side so basically on the f lane and maybe we can even catch one or another tank by surprise it, and maybe maybe it is a, <laughs> a light tank that we can penetrate so let's see how ah here we go and what a sweet target he's instantaneously reversing falling back but we catch him by surprise and we make 420 damage and so the game of the amx 12t is maybe not over but he has to play significantly more cautiously right now from the get-go so this is the power of the vk2801 in its dirt gun let's fully aim in this shot and bam we can take out the his uh, little brother, the um, AMX ELC. And so in the very first minute of the game, we already have 685 damage on tier 6. Uh, disregard about 900 damage on a tier 6 tank. So this is the strength of this tank. And um, yeah, you should try to catch your enemy tanks, catch your adversary tanks by surprise and deal this insane alpha damage towards the enemy light tanks at the beginning of the game okay um now what you should not do in this tank is you should not try to compete when it comes to spotting ability rather try to play a bit more defensively at the beginning and try to surprise your 
adversary light tanks and try to reduce the HP of those tanks so that later on in the game you can take them out or maybe your team can take them out and then as soon as, it, as the enemy light tanks are taken out of the game then you have the, the advantage on your side as being the last remain, remaining uh, light tank. Okay, that was unfortunate but now I can, I can of course take the... Okay, that was stupid but uh, anyway I made a shot which is fine and the Su-100 does not have the high alpha gun which is good so I get okay now he's trying to fall back we do not hit this shot which is fine and now as I'm only half HP I should also play more defensively so 1200 damage so far and now it is time to leave the work to the Black Prince at least as soon as okay now the Oh, nice. We can take out the Su-100. Excellent. Another fair shot. And now we have 1,500 damage. And now it is time to use our mobility in order to be the first one arriving at the rear of the EBR Hodge and also of the P-43 so that we can get the sweet damage of our high alpha gun. So, let's see how it goes. In a tank like the, or basically in any uh, Dirk gun tank, can we bounce the, uh, okay, that was very unfortunate. In um, a Dirk gun tank, what you should do is you should always lobster eye the minimap and try to discover opportunities for your tank. You want to bring yourself into situations where you catch adversary tanks by surprise and where you can, as I showed you at the beginning of the game, where you can best case hide and let enemy tanks drive into your gun. And um, yeah, so then afterwards uh, fall back into cover so that they cannot out DPM you after you took a shot. Second thing is you should try to increase the probability of a hit of your gun. Keep in mind the gun sets are like luster, your gun is not made for long range shots per se and not for moving targets so you have to fully aim in your shots in order to hit and um, it just takes longer and you have to stay or, or maintain stationary for a longer time in order to fully aim in your shot in order to increase the probability of a hit of your gun okay i thought i could catch the churchill 7 now i'm spotted and so i so i have to okay go this is a good target he is shooting but i can take him out so okay, go and now can i take out okay nice i can even take off the next artillery nice bam and so 1900 damage excellent and okay what else what can i do now Maybe I can fall into the back of the Tiger P. Um, or maybe I think I should first of all... Okay, the Tiger P is in this position, so I should fall into the back of the Churchill 1 and help out my T-43 and open up a crossfire situation. So let's see how it goes. Fortunately, okay, he's now reduced to... Okay, looks like the T-43 actually... <laughs> yeah, he's the top tier tank, so... A tier 7 medium tank against a tier 5 heavy tank is actually a very unfair um, engagement if you ask me. But that's how it is. Okay, fortunately the Tiger P has quite some HP remaining. And now, but okay, unfortunately our team is capping. So I think we will only have the chance of one more, one more shot. Um, sorry, one more shot. So let's concentrate on the Stritzwagen M42. And we simply want to make one additional shot in the remaining time. So can we get another shot? Oh, come on. Here you go. And... Nice. We can take him out. So 2000 damage at the end of the game. And I think another decent result in this tank. And um, yeah. This tank is situationally super, super strong, but overall you have to bring this tank into those situations and you simply cannot compete um, against the other light tanks when it comes to spotting ability as you can do in other, let's say, regular light tanks simply due to the characteristics of this tank. But I think I showed you how you can play according to the strength of this tank and if you manage to do so then this tank is actually not only relatively strong situationally strong but also a lot of fun
Alright guys, that was it for today with the video about the VK2801105. How do you like this tank? Do you like to play with derp guns in general? Just leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Consider subscribing to my channel and I see you next time in another World of Tanks video.